This is a short film about a Motorola Cobert suitcase transportable repeater, which is a P1820AX high band, 150 meg uh, transportable repeater from France, bought from France, delivered uh, to the Pie Museum uh, about a year and a half ago. So we shall have a slightly close look at these. These are quite common in the States. They are secure speech. There is a switch there for um, key fail. Antenna uh, duplex, RX port, TX port, 12 volts, mains. And put the mains into it uh, here. Like that. Turn that up. You may just let be able to see volume there. And the uh, word rel secure, which I think means uh, code loss in the window. We'll just uh, do that. The microphone is uh, there. I can't get out of its uh, hod for some reason. We have a control board, we have a secure speech board, and we also have the key loader, which is actually a Northern Ireland key loader. But, uh, that there would uh, load the keys into the unit. That is a ex Northern Ireland cross border security uh, key loader from Northern Ireland. And that would load the key into the repeater in order to make it uh, operable. Um, I believe there is a battery in this one as well. Uh, uh, trans, uh, small backup battery. Um, Sealed and elastic battery, which uh, has repeat on, which is used purely as a repeater or as a base station here. Mike PTT there, and uh, a nice uh, addition to the Pine Radio Telephone Museum of Great Britain in Beaudley, Worcestershire, held by GATPR. So there we have a quick look at a Motorola uh, portable repeater P1820 Alpha X-Ray, which ended up in France and was probably used by covert uh, forces in France, maybe the police or somebody surveillance units etc etc we'll put the lid down on that which uh, doesn't want to fit but there we go now we have another suitcase here or the suitcase radio museum of Great Britain have a second suitcase, not quite so secure speech, but this is a Storno P5 55 channel radio phone in a suitcase. As used, oh gosh, the handsets come to pieces. There's the handset, which has just fell to pieces in my hand. The phone number still there on the uh, unit. Let's, uh, you select the area you are, Lancashire, say, London, Midlands, three spare areas. Call and searching, searching for a channel, the 55 channels that we used. Uh, still no handset, as I said there, the MT. MT703 handset and this would have been used somewhere on the side of it there is a G 
jack plug there. Not there, no. Just in the wrong place. And there it is. Just by the aerial socket. So that plugs into 12 volts on the car. And have that in the car and you can connect it to the British Telecom XBT Straight Post Office uh, 55 channel radio phone service which finished probably something around about 1980 to 82 plus maybe a bit farther on than that very nice easy radio Storno 700s to convert to uh, 2 metres a lot of those were done especially by Ray Withers G4KZH RIP silent key for many years now and I uh, bought and done deals with many of these radio phones over the years but to have one in its suitcase as it should be take the aerial off it it's called a wave whip on 164 megs 164 megs in this country so this is GODPR reporting for the suitcase radio museum of Great Britain, Beardley, Worcestershire.